strike and strike and strike and strike until you have victory for every enemy that is aligned against you. Let there be that we would strike the ground for you will give us victory, God. I hear a sound of abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of shouting and singing. I hear a sound of victory. Good morning. I'm dying. Hi, everybody. I'm still alive. Well, as close to alive as my kind can get. Good morning from the underworld. This is a morning podcast kind of show where I give some opinions on some shit that's on my mind as of late. In case you're wondering where I've been, I'm starting a new job, so I've been stressed beyond belief. Sorry about leaving you all in the dark for so long. I hate doing it, but I always return. Don't you worry. I know everybody hates politics and nobody wants to talk about it anymore. Believe me, that's why I didn't make my channel super political when I was considering it. I truly believe that everybody has their personal reasons for the beliefs they have. And who am I to say they're assholes or idiots for simply living with the cards they were given? I have no issues with criticizing what people believe if I think it's based off faulty evidence or wide, unsubstantiated generalizations. This is why I'm more interested in attacking ideas than people. While someone can have despicable beliefs and deserve to be hammered for them, it came from somewhere, and they were the result of their upbringing and environment. If you change the culture, you can change what they will believe. That all being said, maybe you're starting to see why I named the video what I did. Because yes, I didn't vote this year. Not even for a third party. Nobody. Not even for Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> as tempting as that was. <laughs> so let's go into that. Joe Biden is going to be the president in 2021. And this has got Trump supporters fucking livid. I hear a sound of shouting and singing. I hear a sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. <laughs> now that's some funny shit that video you saw was real by the way that was trump's spiritual advisor spiritual advisor that's still a thing why why is that still a thing whatever so i'll be up front with you i'm no fan of trump i know go figure right the man disgusts me to my very core no lie about that. Let me go down a laundry list real quick. Uh, let's see. Na, 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 na. He is racist, belligerent, hard-headed, unjustly egotistical, a compulsive liar, a firm defender of the alt-right, and above all, a giant orange-haired ape in a suit who was outrageously irresponsible with the level of power he was given. Just look at how he handled COVID for proof of that. <coughs> so Trump is gone. Wonderful. I'm happy about that. It's better for every American. Well, almost every American anyways. But oh well, that's democracy for ya. Da 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 da. But that's the only thing I can say I'm happy about. That and nothing else. Well then, you must have voted for Joe Biden cause Trump is so terrible, right? No, I didn't. And I think that mindset is part of the problem and is why I turned my back on the system altogether. A lot of people die. And a lot more are going to die unless he gets a lot smarter, a lot quicker. Could you use the word smart? You graduated either the lowest or almost the lowest in your class. Don't ever use the word smart with me. The fact is that everything he's saying so far is simply a lie. You just lost the left. You just lost the left. I, I, America. I, 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 There's nothing smart about you, Joe. Joe, if you don't vote for me, you ain't Black Biden is probably the last person I would ever consider for captain of the football team, let alone the leader of America. Quite a while ago, I described the presidential debates as two dementia-riddled old men fight over who gets to fuck over the middle class. I struggle to see how that's an inaccurate assessment. 
After all, this is, of course, the same Joe Biden who had voted for the war in Iraq, which, of course, he says he regrets it now and spoke against it. But here's the problem. He did essentially nothing about it. Sure, he made a big stink about it to the press, but nothing much came out of that, now did it? This is in stark contrast to a certain other Democratic candidate. You may have heard of him. You know who opposed the Iraq war from start to finish and was ultimately right? Bernie Sanders. But no, 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 Bernie Sanders. No, no, no. That's a Democrat with good ideas who might actually change something about this corrupt establishment. Quickly, we better yeet him out of here as fast as possible because we have an election to lose, damn it. Speaking of being ineffectual, how about Biden being in politics for almost 50 years, huh? Can you name anything he's done? Sure, he was part of a lot of groups and stuff, but what did he do beyond that? Something that would define him and his life accomplishment. Any kind of legislation, any kind of bill, any kind of breakthrough, anything? Yeah, I, I got nothing. <laughs> Feel free to look for yourself, but I got nothing. Let's also not forget he voted in favor of the Defense of Marriage Act, the act which openly discriminated against gay couples. Some will tell me, well, that was back in 1996. That was nearly 25 years ago. He doesn't believe that now. Hmm, yeah, no. He signed that bill when he was in his 50s. You really think a man that old can change his mind that drastically? Also, let's remember that gay people were a popular target back in the 90s. So if anything, it sounds to me like Joe Biden holds whatever position he has to in order to get elected. Now I see why he's such a good pal with Obama. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. I also find it funny that nobody seemed to afford that kind of generosity to Hillary Clinton back in 2016 when she flip-flopped on her positions for 20 years ago. Just saying. Joe Biden isn't a racist, at least, right? Wow, that's the fucking bar, huh? That's the fucking bar for being the president of the United States, isn't it? Fucking great. Right? Anyway, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I got some bad news about that too. Joe Biden voted against the desegregation of buses back in the 70s. Now, some people would tell me that Biden was forced to do this by his largely white voting base, and it wasn't his fault. It was the Democratic Party as a whole. Sure, some of that is true. But consider this. What does Joe Biden truly believe? What are his actual beliefs? What is something you could tell me he believes that he truly stands by? Is he anti-segregation? If that was true, he wouldn't have signed this bill, now would he? And if he is anti-segregation, well then he's a wuss who can't stand on his own two feet and advocate for his ideal America. So let's consider these two things. He's either A, a racist, or B, he's a coward who will say anything to keep his voter base happy. Maybe a little bit of both, in my humble opinion. But ah, uh, Joe Biden would be bad enough. You think what I said so far was bad enough, but that's not even acknowledging his pick for vice president, Kamala Harris. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, Senator Harris, your response. Kamala Harris, in short, represents everything I hate about the modern Democratic Party, which are a lack of conviction in their core principles and, coincidentally, their complete ineffectiveness at a grand scale. Give the Donald his due. When he wanted to ban Muslims from the country, he just fucking did it. And that was in line with his worldview. Kamala Harris spent a lot of her career as a prosecutor in California back in the 80s and 90s. Back in the day when prisons were overflowing with nonviolent drug offenders, Kamala has been the one to endorse body cameras and racial bias training for police officers. You know, something they should have had to begin with, but never mind. But at the same time, this is the same Kamala Harris who has voted to keep innocent people in prison for labor. 
Not only that, but this is also the same Kamala Harris who has been caught allowing police to falsify confessions and refusing to let anybody investigate police shootings. Hmm, <laughs> tough on crime, huh? Interesting also how she defended a cop killer from the death penalty, only to then defend cops who murder other people. Some top cop you are, Kamala. And, um, just some icing on the cake. She also denied trans people health care in prison. Huh. Wait a minute. So the prison system is broken, huh, Kamala? You mean the one you're currently a part of and actively contributing to? Interesting. Interesting. Like I said, lack of conviction. She had the choice to defend the people from a justice system she felt has failed the general public, but in the end, she sides with the state over the people. No conviction. She knows which side the bread is buttered on. No boat rocking allowed here in the Democratic Party. Kamala Harris and Biden honestly make the weirdest pairing I've ever seen. Kamala, at the very least, was pretty consistent on her LGBT issues, despite the whole trans present thing. The same can't be said for Joe. Joe has many times voted against civil rights acts, but Kamala, as far as I know, hasn't. What does Joe see in her, exactly, is my question. Maybe because they're both bootlickers for a corrupt system that actively oppresses the same people they claim to fight for? That, and maybe also she can talk a big game, but can't back up any of her talk with some action? Just like most of the Democratic Party, now that I think about it. I, I hope all of this proves a point to you. This was my other option to vote for that wasn't Trump. And needless to say, I was less than stellar about it. I swear, the Democratic Party has a death wish if they, are, if they seriously believe Joe Biden was the best they could do. He's a do-nothing, say-nothing flip-flopper who will say anything for validation. He's every sterile politician you've ever seen. Sure, he won't literally send in the military on protesters, but did... <laughs> but did everyone forget that's a really low fucking bar to set for the president? The United States is in some serious shit right now. This pandemic is going to fuck us up the ass for many years to come because a certain somebody would rather blame China and spread conspiracy theories about it all being a hoax while people are literally dropping dead from it at the very moment. Global warming? It's going to fuck us up the ass 10 years from now, potentially making the planet uninhabitable in the future. The police have turned more and more into a military who can kill people indiscriminately with next to zero consequences. The solution is not more of the same. Leaders are people who can make the results they want to see regardless of who is for or against them. And these people, I'm not impressed. Why don't you explain to me why I should bother voting in the first place for a leader I can't confidently say I would support? I have no doubts that people will tell me, whatever, Karina, Joe Biden is for police reform and takes global warming seriously. We need somebody like that right now. <sighs> I guess you got me there. But isn't this exactly the same trap we fell into when Obama was running for president? You remember that slogan, right? How could you not? Change change here in america we need change where was the change what changed after his eight years we're still waging war in seven different countries in the middle east we killed osama bin laden but that arguably only made everything worse our infrastructure is still shockingly poor the military still has limitless power while homeless veterans starve to death in the streets. We still don't have any form of universal health care that isn't a gutted half measure. College is still bankrupting most young people for jobs they aren't guaranteed to get. What has changed? What will Joe Biden change? Nothing. Sorry to tell you. The answer is nothing. No. I'm not saying I'll never vote again. I'll vote for someone who stands on principle and isn't just holding the advantageous belief that's popular at the moment. I'll vote for someone who cares about the country enough to see that there are deep-seated issues that need immediate attention and we should drop the political song and dance routine in the interest of making our country the best without question. As far as I can see, that person doesn't exist. 
And even if they do, the real owners of this country, you know, the real owners of this country, don't want any of these issues to be solved. They see nothing wrong with throwing their billions of dollars around to stop anyone who tries to make things better. And that's something for you to stew on in the morning. Have a good morning. I'm Karina McDaniels. I'll see you next time.